Yo, what is up, PPL fans? Shadi, a coach of Bayern Munich, and welcome to PPL Season 5 Week 1 Team Analysis. It's that time again, PPL starts. I'm incredibly excited, and I hope you guys are as well, because this time we're actually going for a title, because last season I wasn't really. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that works out. Probably won't. You know me by now. <laughs> but uh, Week 1. We have an interesting matchup because we go up against my good, fri good friend Makati, aka Will and his Boofland builds. Uh, I, I assume most of you guys know him because he's a much bigger channel than me, but he's new to the PPL. Um, glad to have him, he's a great player. I've played before in GPC, I beat him because Jirachi is a good Pokemon and flinched him. <laughs> um, also because Aquajet Keldia was there, I guess. <coughs> uh, and yeah, he has the experience, he was in GBA D League, he was in uh, as a GPC. Uh, I was in various other leagues here and there, and he knows what he's doing. He's definitely a very good player, very good content creator as well, so I highly encourage you guys to check him out. A uh, link will be in below as well as a uh, link to the shop for the PPL. You can get all your PPL merch that you want. Buy a Munich shirt, PPL shirt, other people's shirts. It's, it's going to be great. Um, there is the fan server which you can uh, hop into and talk to us and other fans. It's going to be great. PPL Twitter and the public spreadsheet as well as of course the PPL YouTube channel. So all of the things will be in the description below. Make sure to check out all of them because they're all important and all great and all other things that I could say. So uh, with that being said, let's get <clears throat> into my matchup. So um, Will's team and my team should be popping up on screen right about now. Uh, and as you can see, he has Mega Pinsir, Skamri, Hippowdon, Vaporeon, Tangrowth, Drudigon, Hitmonlee, Delphox, Stoutland, Raichu, and Basculin. So, a very, very weird and interesting team. Um, he actually uh, is going to change that team. Spoilers for week two. But <laughs> for week one, he still has this quad. And he has a very clear issue, and that is um, a lack of speed and a lack of offense. As his only... How do I say this? The only Pokemon that's going to be a threat every game offensively is playing a Pinsa. Things like Delphox, Stoutland, and Hitmonlee, while they might be scary against my team, for example, against other teams they just don't do much. Um, and that's coming from someone who absolutely loves Delphox in the format. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, he's a little issue there, but he's a lot of fat, and uh, those offensive threats, as I said, are actually really scary to my draft. I don't deal too, too well with them. And you, I will get in. You will see how I try to de deal with that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think I overall have a decent matchup, but it all depends on how he builds. As if he builds, you know, just for my team essentially, and just sees, okay, he has these things, and this is how I beat them, uh, or I can beat them. Then I think I I should win because um, I just have a mildly better matchup, <clears throat> and I build a good team, I think. <laughs> But if he goes with a more offensive route, which doesn't suit his team, but if he goes with a team that consists of Mega Pinsir, there's a Hitmonlee, Delphox, and Stoutland, if he brings all four of those, I think I'm going to be a little bit of a wall of trouble. However, I don't know if he wants to do that, I don't know if he can do that, I don't know if his playstyle allows that, we'll have to see how that works out, but <clears throat> yeah, if he brings all of his offense, uh, plus a Powdown and like Tangrowth or something, or Skarmory, um, things are looking a little scary. But I uh, think I can manage, I think. <laughs> so, and as you can see, uh, let's get into the team that I'm bringing. The first one I'm bringing is Scott the Roader with the Cobalberry, Levitate, will Wisp, Hex, Painsplit, and Thunderbolt. Max Defense, 28 in Special Attack, and 20, 228 in Speed with a Timid Nature. That speed allows me to outspeed a Hitmonlee. So why am I running a Max Defense fucking Rotom that doesn't do damage to anything? Well, the answer is um, that I might change that still. I'm not sure yet. I will look on... I, I'm recording this the day before I play. I will probably still change this a little bit, put some more special attack. If I do, then I will inform you guys on the screen somewhere. <laughs> if I don't, then the reason I have... I hit my mic, I'm sorry. The reason I have max defense is because this allows me to take things like a knockoff from Mega Pinsa a lot better, uh, a crunch from the Stoutland, uh, a crunch from a Powdown potentially even, <clears throat> and a knockoff from Hitmonlee. So all those things could be scary and with max offense and a Colberry, I can eat them up relatively effectively. Thanks, Shodan, you fucking suck. Um, <laughs> and then just, you know, be a happy camper, essentially. So, uh, this set is actually phenomenal against this team, as he doesn't have a counter necessarily, not a good one at least. Um, and it beats his bulk very, very well. As Skarmory, I beat that, it doesn't do any damage to me, and I too can win a Thunderbolt. 
even if he's spadef. Uh, Powdown, you can will his that and that and hex it. Uh, granted, hex is not a not a two KO depending on his spread. I don't think so. Especially like if he's more spadef, I definitely don't two KO him. So I might invest a little bit more to deal more damage to that. But uh, yeah, for Powdown, I Thunderbolt and it does ow. Uh, Dragon, I can burn that and then hex it a couple times and paint spit up against other things later on. Uh, and then his offense as well. The only thing that like actively uh, can one v one me, I think, is weirdly enough, Delphox, um, as it comes in and just roasts me with a fire blast. And I, you know, Hex isn't gonna kill it anyway, so he can actually switch in once. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, Rotom does so much work to his team. It has a phenomenal matchup. Uh, Tangrowth, of course, can come in as well, but I can burn that, and that makes the rest of my team a lot happier. Hex is gonna do a ton if he's not Spadef or Assault Vest. Um, well, if he's just one of them, it still does okay. If he's, you know, Spadef Assault Vest, I do nothing, but that's fine. Uh, because Burning Tangrowth makes it trash against my team, and you will see why later on. Um, I hate my laptop. Did I ever tell you that? I don't think I ever said that enough. <laughs> um, yeah, room is incredibly important in this game. Pain Split is a kind of a late change. I had Wolf Switch initially. I'm going to try to make this work, uh, and you will just ignore it. <laughs> um, yeah, I had Wolf Switch initially just to gain momentum, which would be very nice against the team. However, Pain Split is so, so nice just because, for, first, of, for, first and foremost, as I said, Rotom is incredibly important in this game. And because you have things that are really fat with a lot of HP. Hit Powder on Vaporeon Tangrowth. If I get a Pain Split off, they're not only going to be weak, I'm going to be healthy and looking fine. So, <clears throat> that's spicy. Um, and with Pain Split, I can keep Rotom alive. And without HP investment, I'm going to get a lot of health back, essentially. And that's good. And now I'm going to have to pause and wait till my laptop stops being a piece of shit. Okay, so yeah, that's that's Rotom. Um, really looking forward to it, this game, and it, it makes me really happy. It's a good Pokemon. <laughs> Next up, we have, if my laptop wants to cooperate, Azurati Topofini with the leftovers. Misty Surge, of course, has the ability. Ninja's Madness, Moonblast, Defog, and Taunt with a max HP, max defense spread. Um, this is here to deal with Hitmonlee. This is here to help with Delphox and also with the Stoutland. Uh, as a Basket, if he decides to bring it for some reason, I don't think he will against my team. <laughs> um, because, like, Sazmator and Fini just exist. Also, he needs other Pokemon. Also, Superior exists, so like I just don't think it's great against my team. Uh, as all three of I actually have pretty good matchups against him. So yeah, um, this thing uh, just makes Vaporeon useless. Essentially, because it does nothing to me. I can taunt in Nature's Madness, I just beat it 1v1. Uh, I can't sculpt at me and all that stuff. Uh, max Defense, I want to be as bulky as humanly possible, because Hitmonlee is a giant threat and I don't want to fuck with it. Um, this makes Delphox a bigger threat? Yes. But again, Hitmonlee is just such a problem, especially late game, that I want to keep the thing, um, I want to have to think physical defensive and have it be as effective as possible, essentially. Um, again, I might fuck around with it a little bit. Don't think I will, though, because it worked pretty well in my mocks that I had, so, yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is just a support one, essentially. Defog is there for my Zodex. Yes, I know, I'm bringing Defog. What the fuck is life? Crazy shit. Uh, <laughs> And Nature's Madness is nice for the Tangrowth as well, of course, the Vaporeon, so I can, you know, weaken those. Uh, if he brings Dragon, I'm expecting him to either be, you know, Life of Shifo's Gunk Shot or maybe a Z Gunk Shot, so Tapu Fini is not going to be my counter to that, because that just seems silly. <laughs> um, this also beats Skarmory very easily, this also helps with the Powdown, even though I can't hit it too, too hard. Nature's Madness, Moonblast, Taunt, that's all I need essentially for it. Uh, and yeah, that's. That's that. Tapu Fini is fat and it sits there and it's gonna be great. Uh, obviously, it can get worn down and it will get worn down depending on how I play it, but and how he plays. But I think I should should be fine. <laughs> Next up, we have another absolutely crucial member that's really really good against this team, and that is Kingsley the Aerodactyl with the Flying Z, whatever the fuck it's called. Unnerved as the ability, Stone Edge, Pursuit, Sky Tech, and Roost. Uh, Max Tech, 100 in speed with a Jolly Nature and 156 HP. Uh, that speed allows me to outspeed his fastest mod, which is Raichu. And then uh, the, lot of the bulk is actually really important because um, this is my check to Mega Pinsa. <laughs> if you look at my team, there is no such thing as a switch in because Mega Pinsa doesn't really have good switch ins. Uh, sort of like fucking Regirock or some shit. Um, which unfortunately I don't have. <laughs> but this is a phenomenal check as even if he's at plus four, I take a quick attack even off the rocks. Uh, and even if I take two rock switch-ins, if he's at plus two, I still take a quick attack as well. And I obviously 
kill him because I'm a rock type. <laughs> uh, or I can go for my flying Z move and it also works. So, this thing is really good as a mega pincer check. This thing also is really good as a hit molly check if it isn't um, unburdened or scarf. Or if it's scarf locked into like poison jab or something. Uh, this is a really good check to Delphox and a okay check to Southland and as well as Raichu. So, what I'm saying is it beats his offense. And that's good and that's important. So, uh, Pursuit is there because Delphox is a giant threat to my team. Um, as sad as that sounds, because it's lower team on and people think it's bad. Delphox is great, shut up. Um, yeah, I can Pursuit try that thing. I can also live any one hit from it. Barring like a Life Orb or a Spec Psychic, I think. I think you can take a Life Orb one, don't take a Specs one. Um, but if he isn't, you know, Scarf or Z Sunny Day, because it's one of his Z move users, I would speed. So that's all fine and dandy. <laughs> Uh, the biggest problem with the thing is that Sonic is a move that doesn't like hitting, and also that the Pound is a Pokemon that doesn't like caring. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sky Tag oh, with the Fire Z is basically a nuke. Uh, it does like s up to 6% to fully Fist of Hippo. It um, of course Tangrowth. It does a ton to things of Vaporeon, and just in general, if I need you know that strong reliable flying step or just strong reliable damage, I can click that and things will die essentially. Um, like a weakened hippo is gonna be like, hey, I can take a aqua tail, and then I'm gonna hit him with a sky tech, and he's gonna be sad. And if you like to predict, to predict the aqua tail or the Z aqua tail, the uh, whatever the fuck it's called, um, you can go to like Tangrowth or something, and it's gonna get hit by a uh, super sonic sky strike, and that's gonna be great. Uh, Roost is also really important in my opinion, as this allows me to um, stay healthy for things like Mega Pinsa and the Delphox, because I need to think to stay healthy. Stay healthy. Uh, this will threaten some things out. And then I can roost up and be, you know, content essentially. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Aerodactyl. It's so so good against his offense. And I hope that I can actually like hit Stone just that'd be really nice. <laughs> Next up we have um Dragneal, the Megazard X with the Dragon Claw, Fire Punch, Dragon Dance, and Roost. 220 HP, 132 attack, and 156 speed with a jolly nature. Uh, the attack investment was to guarantee two hit KOs gone with Fire Punch unboosted, I think. And also to two hit KO things like Vaporeon and Hippowder and plus one. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Fairly certain. So, and then I have a ton of bulk, which just allows me to set up more easily, as well as just take hits generally and then revenge kill things like Mega Pinsa if it is unboosted. Uh, as well as Stalin, of course. And Delphox. And even Hitmolly. And Raichu. And Basculin. All of his offense. <laughs> so Zodex, his only way of dealing with it is a Pound. There's there's nothing else he has. The Porygon with Rocky Helmet does eh, I can still set up on it and it doesn't do much to me. Um it can roar me, sure, but that's manageable. Uh and also Vaporeon just doesn't have a great matchup when I have a Finny and a Toad and a Superior, so I just don't think it's great against me. Um yeah, Hipponon is definitely his only answer to this, and it kinda made me want to go like with like a will with DD set, but I have Willows on my Rotom, I have Scald on my Sesame Toad, spoilers, and I think I should be fine in that regard. Basically, Zodax DDs and wins, that's kind of the plan late game. Um, I don't need it to DD up in late game and win, but that's the plan and it's probably, hopefully, what's going to happen if I play correctly. Uh, as if I get damage off an opponent or get rid of it, essentially, there's wins. Or burn it. If it, if I burn an opponent, it's pretty much game unless he has heal by Vaporeon. Because I can actually set up on Hippodon because there's less than 40% with an Earthquake. DD up and Roost and all that stuff until I'm at a point where I can Oko him. So yeah, <laughs> that's Zod X. He's gonna put in work and it's great. I love it. It's a good Pokemon. Uh, speed, of course, is for uh, Hitmonlee. I think. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> just, just checking. So, uh, next up we have Tian Jirachi, our captain. With the leftover Serene Grace as the ability, running Wish, Psychic, Combine, and Protect, with a complicated spread that I don't have to explain because it's too much. Basically, I want to be fat. Basically, I want to have enough speed for Hitmonlee. And then uh, the special attack is so at plus one, I 2 hit KO Hippowden after Stealth Rocks with like an 80 something percent chance, I believe. I think that's after Lefties, even though I think it's going to be Rocky Helmet. You know, kind of important there. Uh, and this set <laughs> actually just destroys him. He doesn't have anything. If I play this perfectly, then he just straight up loses. Because Will does not have a dark type. And that is a huge problem. <laughs> um because if Rachi got like store power or something, oh boy, that'll be that'll be spicy. But yeah, I opted to go with this set. As which is really cool to keep my uh Finny and potentially even uh you know the rest of my team healthy essentially. I uh, can witch pass around. 
Uh, or I can just use this as a win con and just kill things. Uh, this is also a good check to Southland. I think good. An okay check to Southland as Crunch, if he's life up, is a roll to tree kill me uh, in his favor and then F protect with lefties. So I should be fine in that regard. Uh, it also takes a hit from Hitmolly and eats hits from Raichu. Uses Red Nature's complete setup fodder, which is nice. Uh, Skarmory is setup fodder. It, obviously, I don't do much with Psychic, but if I get up a couple of Calm Mines, then he's gonna get dicked. Um, for Porygon, if he doesn't have Roar, which I think if he brings it, he's gonna have Roar, I can uh, Calm Mine up on that. Tangrowth, that's why, this is exactly, this isn't uh, Zardex, this is why I wanted to get uh, Tangrowth burned. As a burn, Tangrowth is complete setup for, for this Jirachi, and that is really good. So, uh, yeah, Rachi is phenomenal in this matchup. Wish passing is gonna be really nice if I play that correctly. And this just destroys him. It's great. Like he only has Mega Pinsa, uh, Delphox, and Raichu to speed it. Raichu, I don't think is coming. I think there's no way it, he would bring that. Uh, I think he has he has to bring other ways of dealing with my Fini. Uh, because I have a Doctrine, I have a Zardex, I have a Seismitoad, I have a Rotom, I have a Jirachi, which doesn't care either. Superior which doesn't care. Even Komala doesn't really care. Skontank doesn't really care. So like it just doesn't have a good matchup against me. If he brings it, it's gonna be um, Jet Shell. So even and then it so it doesn't do any damage to anything. So I should be fine with Raichu. Uh, Mega Pins is of course a threat, but if I get a Rocks, then I can uh, I think I kill him with a Psychic after a Calm Mind. I think that's correct. Um, also the four EVs are just left over in case you're wondering. There's nothing special for that. And Delphox, of course, roasts me, but if I give a Calm Mind or two, then I can potentially actually beat that, and that'd be very spicy. So, yeah. The only psychic resists are Skarmory and Delphox, so. That's another reason why I want Pursuit. Uh, also, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, at this point in T-Bowling, uh, I realized that this team looks good. I have my win cons, I have some good bulk, but I'm lacking a little bit more bulk to, like, check his offensive threats, like Mega Pinsa, South and Hitmonlee, as well as Delphox to some extent. Uh, and I also am lacking uh, Stealth Rocks. Uh, so the obvious choice there is our Lord and Savior, the OG, bending in the side of the with the Rocky Helmet, Water Absorb, Stealth Rock, Toxic Skulls, and Rock Slide, Max HP, Max Defense, Relaxed Nature, and Four in Special Defense. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it does. Get up Rocks, uh, help with the Powdown, because if you look at my team, I don't deal well with the Powdown. Like, I don't have anything that can kill it. I don't think e anything even to it kills it. <laughs> like, I don't think Skull 2 kills because it's fat and like Sky Attack is over half, but like Z Sky Attack. So yeah, the problem is a threat. I need to deal with that properly and to play it well. Uh, and it's definitely going to be a huge, huge annoyance to my team. But um, yeah, we'll we'll just see how that works out. <laughs> I really bring Superior in this matchup. I really, really do. But I can't fit it on. It's sad. Is it speeds the entire team? It would be great. But alas, you can't always get what you want or something like that. So, yeah, uh, Size and Toad, Rocky Helmet and stuff, Rock Slide for the Mega Pinsir, Skulls for Burns, especially on Hippo and, and Tangrowth. Uh, Toxic is just there for the Vaporeon, that's all I need it for. Um, and that's pretty much it. Rock Slide also does a chunk to Dullfox, so does Skull, of course, but if he's like a Calm Mind or a Sunny Day variant, Skull doesn't do much, so that's a thing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Size is just there to support the team, uh, weaken his physical threats with the Rocky Helmet. And get up rocks, most importantly, because Mega Pins as a Pokemon exists. Yeah, as a team, uh, I'm fairly happy with it. I don't like how I don't deal well with the Powdown, but I just feel like I don't, I can't change much. Uh, I managed to deal with it in my mocks. I only lost one of them, and that was before I had the flying thing on Arrow. And I think that's what all I changed. Yeah, maybe that'll help. <laughs> um. I also don't think I played that well. So yeah, as a team, tell me what you think, uh, and we'll get into our first PPL game tomorrow on Monday. Uh, yeah, tomorrow on Monday. <laughs> and I hope you guys are excited. We're gonna go for our first win of this PPL season, and hopefully there are gonna be many more to come after that. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. As I said, make sure to check out Will uh, in the description down below. And that's it. Yeah, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some nudes. I will appreciate all three of those and hopefully see you guys next time. Goodbye.